I want you to imagine your favorite video game sequence. For me, it's the helicopter sequence from the original Modern Warfare 2 in Washington, D.C. That whole scene, the gameplay, the shooting, the helicopter, and the music in the background makes it. Arguably, the, the music is what makes it as intense as that situation is supposed to be. Now, I'm going to play that scene with music... And then I'm gonna play it without music. We've linked up with the CEOs on the rooftop and are heading out. Interrogator, has the Washington Monument site been evacuated? Over. Negative 2-1, they're still pinned down by infantry and light armor from the World War II Memorial. Doesn't look good from here. Over. Copy, Overlord. We'll do what we can from the air. Out. First wave of civilian transports is away. We've included. Proceed with second stage evacuation. Litter urgent personnel only. Overlord! how much more boring that seems there's there's nothing to it it's just gunfire and sure you could argue that in real life it would just be gunfire there's not going to be a, a real life ost playing as you defend your country from invaders but in games that are supposed to be telling a story just as a movie there needs to be something that illustrates what's going on more than what you see on the screen. My name's Poet. Today, I'll be telling you why I think music is the most important part of a video game. Before I start this video, I'd like to thank all of you guys for helping me reach 100 subscribers. I started posting somewhat regularly in November at the end of November, like right after Thanksgiving, with the thought process of, you know, I'm just gonna get on here and do it and have fun and see what happens. And I've doubled that subscriber count, granted in two months, but I think that's pretty good, you know? Being able to talk to people that comment on my videos or give me some ideas, like today's video is pretty much an idea from the comments. It, it's nice, I like, uh, I like having a community. I like being able to talk to people there are a lot of very nice people in the comments telling me that, you know, keep up the good work and I like your video. And it's really nice to hear that. So, uh, you know, I just, I couldn't be here without you guys. And I thank you for that. I think now my two goals are keep putting out content somewhat regularly and uh, maybe double the sub count. I don't know. I don't know where the road's taking me. I'm just driving on it. <laughs> With that out of the way... As I said, this video was partially inspired by a comment on one of my last videos, my Great Games on Steam video to be exact, by a user by the name of Carbonated Phantom. I don't know who you are, Carbonated Phantom. You said Risk of Rain 2's music was genuinely one of your favorite soundtracks of all time, and I'm inclined to agree. I think it's pretty darn good. Uh, I have a lot to say about just soundtracks in general, but I figured... This would kind of be a good segue into that because I think Risk of Rain's music does something so well that a lot of like good video game soundtracks also do. It's important to know what your game's about and therefore it's also important to get the pacing of the music to line up with your game is about. If your music in a video game doesn't pace well with what's going on on the screen then it doesn't feel like it fits. Could you imagine Coconut Mall's theme from Mario Kart overlapped with No Russian from Modern Warfare 2?
Now, granted, that is a pretty extreme comparison, but I think the point still stands. The games that have good OSTs usually know the pacing of what's going on in the game. For example, let's take Destiny Sepix Prime Strike. I'm a big Destiny fan. I'm pretty sure I've said this in one of my videos. I love Destiny. I have a lot of time on that game, probably more than I should. And the Sepix Prime fight is there's a build up. As soon as the boss, you know, does this thing where he, he like introduces himself or whatever, the music starts to pick up and it feels like this epic boss fight. And with it being the first boss fight from the original game, it gives you this sort of, you know, oh shit, like this is, this is a big boy. Like I need to start dumping ammo into this guy type of feeling. You're not going to get that feeling if you have like Animal Crossing music going on in the background while you're shooting this giant eyeball. You're not going to get that feeling, you know, and I think that's what makes a sequence in a video game all the more memorable. And I don't even think that you need a story to make a sequence in a video game. There are games like racing games that just have music playing while the person races. And I'm sure those people have plenty of memorable moments in racing games elevated by the music that's playing in the background. In the case of the comment for today's video, Risk of Rain 2, I would say that there's not really a story that you're following in that game. You're kind of just shooting bad guys, but the music in the background makes the environment that you're in, the setting, what you're doing, all the more memorable. That's why I think Music is the most important thing in a video game. If you guys have more thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. If you liked the video, drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thank you guys again so much for all the support you've given me. My name's Poet. I'll catch you in the next one.